Robert Morris is still with me. We've got part two coming up. <laughs> Okay, so we were talking about uh, silly guest things. What time's the you know nine o'clock fireworks mm-hmm. and uh, where's those art wildcat? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What other silly things did you get at, at Celebration City? It was just it's kind of weird. It's like, so when does the park close? Uh, it closes like they changed it through the through the years mm-hmm. because of uh, city and stuff and right. all that. Like the park closes at ten, like uh, closes at eleven. And uh, people think that as soon as the show's over, the park closes. Well, that mm-hmm. wasn't true. We still have one hour still to go because yeah. it gets over at ten. Like it was like starts at nine thirty and gets over at ten or some sort. You tell them it's like, oh, the park closes at eleven. Oh, when does it close? The last kid, they'll kind of look at like. So yeah. I mean, that's not really kind of like silly. It's just kind of like really. I mean, you kind of tell them, but you, they still don't get it. I guess mm-hmm. right? it's kind of one of those things it, to bring back those silly questions. It's. Really hard to because it's because it's, it's almost so it's not it's silly but it's not rememberable silly almost yes. to me to me it isn't there's a bunch of other stuff like uh, are we allowed to something about food on rides I'm like no yeah. like uh, can I bring eat my hamburger on, yeah. on the roller coaster yeah, like it, sometimes <laughs> it was like ridiculous questions or usually kids would come up and just ask some ridiculous que- not like ridiculous but. Mm-hmm. Um, they knew that the answer wasn't going to be. They, yeah. they knew the answer beforehand. That's why they asked it. Just to does this ride take me to Silver Dollar City from yeah. four miles yeah. away? Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. I mean, kids would you know not do it on purpose, but they would just do it you know mm-hmm. just to see what your answers would be. When I was working at Silver Dollar City, when I transferred you know, during doing the trams, mm-hmm. people would ask you know those silly questions as well and goes. Uh, um, what time does the? I think it was like a Echo Hollow, like Echo maybe. Hollow, and then you would talk about it on the tram. It'd be at six o'clock tonight in Echo Hollow is when the show is, and then people like as soon as you get off, they come back to the back mm-hmm. of the tram. And goes, what time? What what time is it? And, and especially if you repeat it twice. And, yep. Because because I would always repeat. Goes. Remember tonight is Echo Hollow at six p.m. Six p.m. is Echo Hollow. Don't forget it's a really great show. And, you know, especially twice, maybe three times, yeah. and still the laugh. But um, I. I don't know the sil- the really silliest. I wish I did, because <laughs> because if I, I pr- if, pr- if I heard it, I probably remember. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. It's just trying to remember it. But but yeah. Yeah. So. After a while, you hear so many of them that they kind of start to merge and blend together. And yeah, it's like okay. it, it's like okay, this is okay. What's funny at first? Now it's come on, really. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like one of those. But well, especially when you get to people that come up. And, and they ask you thinking that they're being funny, that you've never heard this mm-hmm. line before. And you're just kind of going, um, okay, you're about the fifth person today. And... Yep. Yeah. Yeah, especially, yeah. I mean, like People are, that's their first time. They thought they came up with it. That's yeah. the greatest. And and every time I would just, and I would, staff-wise would know I was being sarcastic, but like, guests weren't. And I would just go, oh! <laughs> You know, I would over dramatic, yeah. and 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 they just thought that I was being serious, and they would go on. So it made their day either way. Mm-hmm. So trying to, because you hear things over and over all the time, and to actually, you know, to hear it over and over, you kind of get boring. But yet again, you got to remember that the people that come there, it's their it's first, the first time. time. It's their first time. So so that reminds me of what I do now. I do the same thing. It's their first time. It's not yeah. to me. It's over and over and over. But. Actually, to them watching, you know, seeing me is actually their first time. It's it's one of the so, reasons why, with a lot of the silly questions that we'd hear a lot, that I would come up with really silly, goofy answers <laughs> because it would entertain me and it would entertain the guests at the same time when they realized, okay, silly answer means I just asked a silly question. Yeah, and it would be entertaining for both of us that mm-hmm. way, as opposed to okay, what times the three o'clock parade? Three o'clock, you know. We yeah. come up something. What time is three o'clock parade? Uh, well, usually it's at three, but tonight it's at midnight. <laughs> what? <laughs> man, my mind's going blank. <laughs> that's, it's like, I mean, I had all these to talk about. Now that one is, you know, that's a, a you know, after this is all over, I probably remember. Yep. Oh yeah, that's what it that's was. A, it always happens, you know. Every now, time. do you have um, a couple particular moments that stand out as just extraordinary moments in the park? And it could be extraordinarily good, certainly bad. Maybe um, somebody that, that you know, for me, 
particularly at Disney, but also at Silver Dollar City, when we would have the kids come in for Make-A-Wish, or the really sick ones, and, and we were just able to take a moment and create something special for them. It's not really, like, for a special, I guess for a special guest, the moments I would scare people, I guess, would mm-hmm. be the moments. Uh, because... They were never really expecting to be scared or anything. Yep. Like they're doing the scarecrow, and then later on, I used to work for uh, uh, used to work for Ride the Ride Ducks, the Ducks, and um, and I used to be the mascot there for okay. the, the duck, and uh, I would stand as a statue, just like mm-hmm. I did as the scare. And I think the more moment is actually my moment is I never met them before. I knew the manager, the uh, the manager in charge of the Branson location, mm-hmm. but I never knew the guy that run the whole in charge of the whole thing. Until he came in one day, and I didn't know this. And I just started it, like, one day before doing mm-hmm. it. And he comes in. I did not know. This is <laughs> Second this day is, on the this job. Is the Hirsch- <laughs> this is, this is, no, like, yeah, doing the whole stand statue. So, so this is, um, it's yeah, one of the Hershen's family's name. It, Chris, Chris Hershen mm-hmm. is one of the Hershen Brooks' so- sons. sons. Um, I think it's Pete Hershen's son. Mm-hmm. So, I think anyway. That's right. And um, so I'm standing as a, I'm I'm dressed as a duck, standing as a statue, and people are taking photos, and I move, and, mm-hmm. and people are laughing, and the staff are, you know, in, I'm inside because it's so it's not in the way or anything, and so the staff are just laughing because they're the, mm-hmm. they're watching it, and people are laughing, and so here comes the man, the the, the man, general manager in the head honcho walking i didn't know this i thought it was mm-hmm. just because usually they bring people in and just in, talk to people kind of just see how right. you know things are going so i thought it was, that's one of them i come in there and, and i'm standing like this and he's like and and they're talking like and he's like yeah this is you know and he's telling my name and i guess he didn't realize that he called me by my name or anything mm-hmm. and i'm just standing there like with thumbs up and he's like in a duck yep. like this just standing there, and he goes, "This is so cool." And the man, the gentle, the main guy is like, "Oh, this is cool. This is a great photo shot." And I go like that, and I reach, and he's like, "Oh my goodness!" He just <laughs> jumps straight back, and then the the boss had to tell me, "Um, just so you know, this is our head honcho guy, Chris. Um, he's in charge." Oh no! There goes my job. <laughs> you know, there goes it. I'm done. Good night. Give me the pink slip. And he, and then I hear this, and he goes, the main guy goes, I like it. Keep it up. I'm like, yep. oh, thank goodness. The, the oh, Hershens have, <laughs> the Hershens have great senses of humor. Uh, I, I met Pete and Jack several times mm-hmm. at the park. Um, Bruce, of course, is in all sorts of stuff, and I think I've met Chris. But yes, they've they've got great They're, sense of humor. If you can make something fun, then yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was. It was definitely it was it was it was kind of scary because I thought my job was gone. As soon as I found out, I was like, "Yep, that's it, <laughs> done. I am done." It was nice working with y'all. Goodbye, you know. And then I was there for a few a few years. Moments like that—that's what really sinks in. If you could scare your <laughs> your, yes, your corporate your... boss of uh, of in charge and still keep your job, I think you're doing pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> you that's know? that's but, hilarious. Um, so um, you basically work now traveling as an illusionist. Yeah, well, uh, I started th- that really starts back when I was like five when I mm-hmm. got into magic. But um, because I um, I got back into it basically when I I got you kind of lose track of it when you start growing up, you know, yeah. um, interesting girls and you know high yeah. school and all that, you know, and um, er- and and when I started working at back at Self, it's funny, it's Celebrate City really got me mm-hmm. back into it is. Um, I started doing tricks for the guests. Plus, I juggle. I know how to juggle. So, when I would take the basketballs and juggle them on the boardwalk, and people mm-hmm. were like, "Well, that's pretty good." The short kids just, you yep. know. But that's what really got me to do that. And then end up, I uh, in our in the Branson area, there's a club called the Tri Lakes Tricksters, mm-hmm. uh, associated with the IBM. We're known as IBM Ring Three Twenty Five. You, if you're okay. a magician at all, watching. And I was, I end up going to the club and. Um, through, introduced through a talent show, I was at mm-hmm. in the talent show doing comedy and stuff, and uh, became the club president for about four years. And then, what's really cool about it is, is we did a fundraiser in Springfield for a Boys and Girls Club in Springfield for a fundraiser, mm-hmm. chili and magic show kind of fundraiser. We had a TV appearance, and I was the president because mm-hmm. I had, you know, and uh, so we did a TV appearance for the local channel. And I contacted the guy I work with now. 
I contact them and say, I got a TV appearance to go to. Can uh, can you help me out? Because I don't know yep. exactly what to do for television. You know, it's different television and yes. and and that. And so it was my first time, so I was nervous. And he's done it several times, stuff like that. So I went over and talked to him. And he did things. We did it, and he watched it. He enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. He came up and watched the show. And then I get this call to come over and goes, you know, I like your performance and all that. Would you like to go with me on tour? And I'm like. Sure, why not? You know, I'm like, uh, I'd be, you know, stupid to say no, <laughs> you know. And um, I don't know what, con- you know, convinced him to do it, but uh, you know, I'm thankful every day because now I got to travel. Uh, he also asked me to come up to South Dakota. This, mm-hmm. this, we just got done or two years there, and got to be the comedian on Sunday nights when they had the music show. I was the yep. comedian, did a lot of stand, uh, different comedy bits and magic, mm-hmm. small magic tricks. And now we just this past fall. Um, we did a tour on um, with Ally Concerts. I've got great reviews and all that, so it's really cool. And we got one coming up in spring. Uh, we're traveling everywhere, so it's okay. kind of cool. I do my own stuff. I do um, working on fairs and stuff, mm-hmm. working to get fair shows. It's a fun experience, and it's just funny. It's like, you know what? If I wasn't for you know going to work there, I probably wouldn't be doing this because yeah. my whole goofiness you know, developed through that to really to come out what it's now. It's just been a fun experience, and I'm, I'm very yeah. thankful, very thankful for it. Do you have information on where you'll be? I mean, is there a website or something that we can... Yes, there's a website for that. If you go to www.grandmagicshow.com. Okay. I think so. Okay, okay. and I'll make sure uh, there's a link in the yeah, description for below. you. Yeah, below. And I also, I want to give you credit, as well as a lot of YouTubers is out there that I watch. I watch you, mm-hmm. and I watch Justin... Uh, oh, Justin Scar. Justin Scar, and I watch that, and it encourages me. So um, I hope you don't mind, but I'm actually starting my own YouTube, Good. and it's actually what's what's great is about the magic. <laughs> I have a friend that has a magic shop in Branson that he'll be talking about his stories in the magic shop. Okay. Uh, fun stories, people come in like your silly stories mm-hmm. as well. I'll be interviewing magicians in the Branson area. And kind of getting okay. the feel back on the business side. Now, Not revealing the magic, but the business side. Where's the uh, magic shop at? Magic shop is in downtown Branson. Okay. Uh, the ice cream parlor in the fudge shop yep. is. You kind of go there. Just look for the giant elephant in the window. That, that's kind of where yeah. I thought it was, but the I wanted to. giant with the, yeah. <laughs> for the tourists, it's about two blocks from Dick's Five and Dime. Mm-hmm. It's come heading back towards Main Town a little bit. And you also brought a couple things. Yes. I brought to a show off. few things to show off. Uh, I was digging around and I found an old Celebration City hat. Very cool. And uh, we'll set that right there. And then I uh, found a uh, old uh, mugs that we used to oh, yeah. have at uh, Celebration City, the refillable ones. And uh, as well as we have a uh, coffee coffee mug of theirs. And as well, this was given to me after the park closed mm-hmm. and it's probably the only one that's around anymore <laughs> because uh they were all thrown away when the park was closed but it was actually the poster i don't know if you'd be able to see this of the last the ride they put in oh, of Royal falls uh, this would sit right at the ticket booth mm-hmm. so you would have it right there at the ticket booth and everything as well and i got one more and that's it's a, neat and it's I, I saved the best one for last because I know you like this kind of stuff. It's here in my pocket, and it's the pin Ooh. that when they first when they first started the park, they made these mm-hmm. pins for it. And this is how cool. Uh, it, you can see what it says. It basically when Silver yep. Dollar City was done after a day of fun at Silver Dollar yep. City, Celebration City is the night thing to do. Night thing to do. So they want you to go from the from the day park to the night park. Mm-hmm. And all of that, and this one's more a keepsake for me because I because it oh, means yeah. a lot to me. But I got a I got a surprise for you. I'm letting you have all this other all the oh. other ones to put because I love your back backdrop mm-hmm. and all that. I want you to add it to it. I want oh, you to absolutely. add it to it to the backdrop and all that. And I know it's going to be in a safe place because if okay. I keep it any longer, it's not going to be safe. I <laughs> well, and actually, so, that'll work great to cover up my window at my uh, spot at home too. Yeah. So that'll be wonderful there. Yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. Appreciate it. That's awesome. So thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this with Robert Morris and had a lot of fun. I've had a blast with this. So um, if you did, again, make sure to check the description below for all the links. And check out, once he's got his channel up and running, I'll make sure i got links for that as well. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you had a lot of fun. And thank you too, Robert, for joining me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.
you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button right there. If you'd like to see another great video of mine, there's a good one right there for you. And if you'd like to be like these wonderful people and support me on Patreon, hit that link right there. Thanks so much.